Hi, welcome to the McGuffey Readers Online Tutor. Today's lesson is from the McGuffey's First Eclectic Reader, the revised edition, and we are on Lesson 18. Lesson 18, Handwriting. Our words for today are nut, did, shut, shall, lost, fox, men, met, step, into, hunt, mud. Notice all those short vocal sounds. Let's look at the short A vocal in shall, which sounds like gal and pal. And we have the short E in the words men, met, step. And we have the short I in the word into. Notice into has two syllables, in, two, in, two. We have the short O in lost and fox. And we have the short U in the words nut, shut, hunt, mud. And then we have our text for today. And notice that it is in script. And I'm going to use a different script for this text. If you saw the last lesson, you saw that I chose this script because I think it will help you out with touch pads. Add some lines, and here is a demonstration. Notice the red dot for the starting point. And notice that there's not too many red dots because you want to leave your pen on the paper and flow through as far as you can go without lifting it up. Even if you have to go through many different letters at one time, look at the word pen. You, you only start at the P and you don't lift up your pen until the very end of the word. So let's read the sentences today. Will the dog hunt a fox? Ben lost his hat. Shall I shut the box? I met him on the step. Did you jump into the mud? I have a nut. I met the man. I met the men. Sorry about that. And I would like for you to look at the spacing. Notice that in between each word, it is a smaller space than the space between each sentence. So today, on the worksheet that goes along with this lesson, I'd like you to not only practice your handwriting, but also draw a blue slash line in between each word and two red slash lines in between each sentence. And that way you can picture, you can understand that there is more space between the sentences than the words. Well, that's our lesson for today, and I hope that you go to the mcguffeyreaders.blogspot.com to get that worksheet to practice your handwriting, and I hope you visit me again. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.